This is the Philly Godfather with Danny Davis, and we're inside the ring at the legendary Joe Haynes Boxing Gym in Philadelphia, home of the cheese steaks, Tasty Cakes, Liberty Bell, and Benjamin Franklin, baby. And we're gonna be breaking down the biggest fight of the century, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Danny, how is Floyd gonna win this fight? Number one, Floyd's gonna win this fight. The reason why Floyd will win this fight is Manny don't hurt him between round one to four, Floyd is just gonna pick him apart the rest of the rounds. Do you think he has to come out with more offense in this fight? Or do you think he can just sit back and use that catch and counter style to, I don't, beat, to beat Manny? I don't think Floyd has to really change anything but just be Floyd Mayweather. Use his defense, his defense is his offense. I don't think he has to change at all for this fight. I think Pacquiao will be reckless like he always. You think he can catch Pacquiao leaping in the way Marquez did with maybe a straight right hand and put him out? Or do you think this fight's gonna go the he's, he's not going to be able to put him out with just one shot. Straight right hand, left hook, you know, straight right hand, uppercut, left hook. That's how you would get Pacquiao with combination shots, not just one shot. You have to put shots together. Will he be able to work the body and maybe slow Manny down? Because Manny does move around a lot. He's like an octopus. He's in front of you. He's underneath you. He's behind you. Is Floyd going to work that body? go to the body early and chop the head off later, or he's just gonna box and put it on a clinic? Yeah, he had to put some body shots together. You can't leave that out. He definitely had to put body shots together. But I think he just will frustrate Manny all night long with his defense, man. He had incredible defense. Him, Bernard, man, they just have incredible defense. You cannot really get through that, that shoulder roll. No one have done it in 47 fights, and I don't think no one is going to well, great, great defense does win championships, whether it's football or boxing. Now, we got a great attacker in Manny Pacquiao versus a great defensive fighter. Now, is there any way you can see Manny pulling up the upset as a two-to-one underdog against Floyd Mayweather? What does Manny have to do to win this fight? Well, this is the game of boxing. You know, anything can happen in this ring. Uh, but like I said, if Manny don't, don't earn that respect early, I think he just will just be Manny, move, throw four or five shots at a time, and just get picked off every time. Now, Manny, I think, is a little bit faster. He's got machine gun hands. I mean, that speed's coming at Floyd faster than Floyd's ever faced. And there's so many different experts who are now picking Manny. I know Teddy Atlas liked Floyd early, and now he's flip-flop, and he's picking Manny Pacquiao to win the fight. What in Pacquiao's arsenal will cause Mayweather the biggest problem in this fight? His biggest problem is, I think, like you said, once again, it's his speed. Yes, Floyd haven't faced no one with the hand speed. But once again, he's, he's very reckless. And Floyd will, he's a very smart fighter. His IQ is, is unbelievable. Like I said, uh, he would just pick him apart, man. After he figured him out the first few rounds, that's why I say it's very important for Manny to hurt this man early. Earn respect. Earn that respect early. If not, Mayweather just would play with this guy and just box him, just put on a boxing clinic. How big of a factor is that five inch reach advantage? I know later on in the fight when Manny slows down a little bit, do you think that's gonna come in big play later on in the fight or early on? You think Floyd, every time Manny goes to set, Floyd's gonna pop him with the jab and, and it's, move? It's gonna, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a factor early in the fight. It will be a factor early in the fight. That jab is going to be a very big factor in this fight. It's if, if Floyd, Floyd jab. If Floyd can't establish the jab, what does he do next to win this fight? He have to. He have to establish the jab. There's nothing next. He have to establish this jab. If he can't establish the jab, get the jab off. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night unless you can get that right hand off. What he's very good at, rolling that shoulder and turning that right hand. But he now, will have to use the hook Let's show the audience it. exactly what Floyd does. Now, I'm Manny. I'm a southpaw, right? Uh-huh. I shoot the jab. Uh-huh. He will have to roll that shoulder. But doesn't he move into uh, fighting the southpaw? After I shoot the jab, doesn't he move into the straight left hand? Yeah, he will have to take Where, a little step over. Right. As a conventional That's fighter, good. I shoot yeah. the jab, and, and then, then you can it, catch the right hand and come back with yes, the right hand. But with, 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 with Manny using the jab, but if he's by him being southpaw, he just had to take that step over. And catch him over and the catch top. Him with the, over and the then top. does he step over? And then, yes. And then, and then Manny's, turning. Manny's got to turn and catch yeah. him. So uh -huh. that's going to be biggest. So what, what does Manny have to do to avoid that? 
as a southpaw. So you're turning the southpaw now. You're Manny Pacquiao, I'm Floyd Mayweather, right? Uh-huh. Now what does Manny have to do to, to avoid that? Just be Manny and just throw punches. From every angle. From every angle. Here, pop, 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 here, pop, 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 here, pop, pop, pop. He would have to just be Manny. And he's got to get real aggressive early, real offensive in and, order to win and, this and fight. Hurt, and hurt Floyd. Establish that You respect. have to hurt Floyd. A lot of pity pack shots. We got to, you got to understand, we got to, you know, we don't know what judges that we're going to have. We don't know what the judges are going to look for. The pity pat, the aggression is, is he doing anything? Because you can just, yeah, you can throw punches, but if they are not effective. And if they're not, if not hurting Floyd, he's just going to walk right through. Point in question, just like the Steve Cunningham fight. You know, Steve threw all them punches, but they wasn't really counting them. They wasn't effective. They counted the effective shots with um, uh, the kid. Glock, uh, Glock. Glock. he do the most effective shot. Right. So it's depending on what judges, you know, that you have, depending on what you look, how, you how know, they're, how how they're looking, looking at, at the, the fight. fight. Now the two styles, now I know Manny has the style and the only shot of any fighter out there to actually pull out an upset. He opened up as a three to one underdog. He's down to a two to one underdog. Odds makers in Las Vegas think this fight's gonna go the diff distance. The over and under is 10 and a half rounds. So basically the odds makers are telling you this is going to go to the distance. So if, if Manny has any chance of winning this fight, can he win a decision or will he have to knock Mayweather out to win this fight? He will have to knock him out. He will have to knock him out or beat him just about every round to win this fight. And that's fight. going to be hard to do with, with Floyd's boxing IQ and his pedigree. Yes, sir. Yeah. So there you go. Sitting here with professional boxing trainer Danny Davis breaking down Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao.